You think you can handle this? Here it comes. Number 11 of the top 11 signs that you're a winner. Hey, this is Brian Pombo coming to you once again from the Orange office in Grants Pass, Oregon. Today, we are going to go over number 11 of the top 11 signs that you're a winner. We've gone through one through 10. This is the final one. This is the cherry on top. Here it comes. Are you ready? <laughs> number 11 of the top 11 signs that you're a winner is that you're willing you're willing to believe in your dream. I uh, know that seems kind of goofy and off the wall, right? There's something serious here. It has to do with strength. It has to do with, and it's not something that could be given to you. It's not something that I found that you could actually develop yourself. You either have it or you don't, but it is by a matter of degrees, okay? It, it comes down to this. Do you have a strong enough personal desire to overcome the often invisible obstacles and enemies that lie across your path? If you have somewhere that you're going, something that you're really after, do you, ha do you have a strong enough desire for it that you can overcome the obstacles? So how strong do you have to be? Strong enough <laughs> to overcome the obstacles. How big does that, that dream, the thing that you're after, how, how big does that have to be? Big enough to match up to your strength to overcome the obstacles. It, it's a matter of relativity. If you have your, have your dream over here, and then you got an obstacle in the way, how strong are you to jump over that obstacle? So if the obstacle's bigger, if you're not strong enough, you're not gonna be able to go past it. How are you gonna get past it? Well, you, you've gotta increase your strength some, but in a sense, you need a bigger dream. It really comes down to having that though. There has to be that desire. There has to be that burn. There has to be the um, hunger for something more out of life. There has to be something that you're going for. And you, you could say, well, yeah, but I don't want to be selfish. Well, it has nothing to do with being selfish. It, it, it tends to be something that's a little bit beyond selfish because if it's just a selfish desire, it'll only take you so far. And you're not necessarily going to go that far for just some selfish delight. It's usually something a lot bigger than that. Oftentimes, it's something that you'll at least view as being bigger than yourself, something that goes beyond you. There are signs that these things exist, but you'll know whether or not you actually have something you're going after or not. There was an old quote, it said that, uh, somebody said it once, it said that if the dream's big enough, the facts don't count. If you think about that, it sounds kind of silly because of course the facts always count. If it's an actual fact, it matters. You can't just say it doesn't matter. But in reality, most of us can't view our facts straight on. We don't know all the facts of the situation. Like I said, it, it's the oftentimes invisible obstacles and enemies that are gonna trip you up, but you don't know about them yet. The facts that you know about don't matter if you have a strong enough desire to get what you're going after. And it has to be a want. It can't just be a need. A, a need is something you're gonna get anyways. You're going, to, you're going to find a way to feed yourself. You're going to find a way to provide shelter for your children. That's, that's just gonna happen. You'll find a way to do that. Needs are easy. It's the wants that really drive us to go forward. Now maybe what you want is what you need, that's another question, but you gotta want it in order to move forward. And one thing I found, if you own a business, if you're an executive, if you're the boss, if you're one of the people in charge, if you're driving things, if you do not have a strong enough desire, you're not going to be able to overcome the obstacles necessary 
to really take your business where you want it to go or where you think you want it to go. You've got to want it bad enough. It's got to be something bigger than life. So does that match up with you or not? Do you think you have that or not? I'll tell you what, the strength of your desire is going to directly impact whether you're able to achieve what you want out of life. And the thing I look for when I'm working with new clients, when I'm interviewing new clients, when I'm helping someone else with their, helping someone out with their strategy, it really comes down to whether they really want what's at the end of the rainbow or not. So that's, that's why it's number 11. That's why it's the top thing. Because it's, and it's not anything I can change. It's not anything I can encourage people to become more desirous. It, that you either have to have it or you don't. The dream either has to be big enough or it's not. So hopefully that, that resonates with you a little bit. This is why I call uh, the website that I'm working with right now the dreambizchat.com because it really has to do with whether you ha want to actually create your dream business or not. Do you have a concept for what that could be? If you do, if you're in the self-reliance field, meaning that you have products or services that help people to become more self-reliant, I'd like you to go to dreambizchat.com, watch the quick little video there, it's about eight and a half minutes, it's me going through the process of what would happen if we got on the phone and actually talked. Go fill out the form on that page. If you qualify, we'll set up a time and you and I will get to talk. Now we're quite a few weeks out before we have any spaces, but if you go on there, you can see if you, if you qualify and then we can go from there. So go to dreambizchat.com tomorrow we are going to be talking about, we have these daily, so you can come right back here, wherever you're watching this, whether YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, what have you. Come back here, we're on Instagram too, and we're going to talk about what the concept of being everywhere actually means. We talk about that in the uh, nine ways to be able to Amazon proof your business. We talk about being everywhere. I'm going to go through some details on that. Maybe I'll draw a few things out on the whiteboard. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night.